Hey, Wes Buck here, Drag Illustrator Magazine, with uh, one of my heroes, Tricky Ricky Smith. Uh, we're actually hanging out here with Sadie. There's Sadie. And uh, hanging out here in the lounge. It's They've been cleaning up the track for four hours or something <laughs> yeah. all day. And uh, finally, it sounds like they're making noise. We were watching the PDRA race. And uh, we were just talking a little bit about uh, everything that's going on. Uh, mainly, I guess, the we're here this weekend with the NHRA Pro Mod Series. Um, we saw a couple weeks ago at the warm-up event, you know, everybody's picking up, everybody's going fast. Ricky, I mean, we saw a, a half dozen cars in the 570s. We were just talking about it a little bit. I mean, has everybody stepped up? Is that where we're headed? Well, I think everybody's definitely stepping up, you know, every year. They're learning a little more how to get these cars down the track. And, uh, you know, I don't know how many times we'll see 70s because to see 70s, you've got to be probably under... 1500 feet higher and the trace track's got to be probably 90 or under so main thing is we race at daytime you know with NHRA so we're starting to see hot weather I think you'll see a lot of mid 80s this year maybe more than normal you know but uh, right now you know I've been running back and forth we thought we was going to run the clouds and then like you say they've been, we're three hours behind and we thought we was going to run so we come back change tires transmission done all that early this morning now i probably need to go back to the other tire so i just finally come in here and sit down and lounge and said hey i gotta just chill when, out when i found him he was in here with the lights off <laughs> just ignoring whatever was going on out there so but we were talking a little bit about the nhra made a bunch of rule changes over the off season to try and you know that ever ongoing try to establish parity for pro mod deal um made some boost adjustments took the weight back off the nitrous cars i mean do you, do you think we made progress with the rules i mean you're i don't know if i'm sure most everybody well let's be honest everybody knows ricky's got himself a turbo car so um everybody's paying attention to what you're going to do but i mean do you think they made any progress with the rules not really uh everybody from turbo to, to blower cars everybody when we had our meetings agreed that the nitrous car needed to 50 pounds back off of Yeah, I don't think anybody discarded that because we were getting behind again, getting behind again. So the 50 pounds off the nitrous cars is probably the only thing they'd done It was made sense. The problem is they took the turbo cars, took two pounds of boost off of them, which they already probably didn't even need it, and then they turned around and took 50 pounds yeah. off of them. Well, they're already the fastest car in the class. So why did, if you're going to take 50 pounds off, they should have took four pounds of boost off of it. Yeah. It just didn't make common sense, and that's all, that's the whole reason. They made me spend a quarter million dollars a year to build a turbo car to prove a point. And I will for it's over with if they make me do it. I mean, I got people coming to the shop. I got people that's wanting to help me with this turbo car to make it run. So we'll make it run for it's over with, but I really want to race my nitrous car. That's what I'm known for is pro stock and nitrous the turbo thing was just to to try to get nhr to realize these guys are sandbagging on them so bad you know just don't be naive about it realize they're sandbagging you know we're pulling heads off every two or three runs everybody's busting their butts out here to run good and you got these turbo guys that are just sandbagging so all i ask is keep the rules right and uh, everything will be good but right now they didn't do anything to slow the turbo cars. If they done anything, they picked them up. I mean, it's hard to argue. And and two years ago in Atlanta, I mean, let's be honest. Ricky ran a 577 or six. Yeah, yeah, 577 at 250, and there was 50 pounds on you in in a day. In a, a deep breath. 1,200 feet of air, and the track was 85 degrees. I I was the only one getting down the racetrack. The track was so tight that the rest of the guys were pedaling. And then I go out there and run good, and they and they just penalized all the nitrous cars well it took two years for them basically it didn't take two years it took a year for somebody to win a championship besides me for the nitrous car it, troy won it last year and what really people don't realize if you go back and look at the points troy if he hadn't had just terrible bad luck last year now he blowed up two or three motors all the track down on top of that he got over a hundred over a hundred points dock last year because of oil downs and stuff like that if Troy hadn't had that if he just had a normal year and not broke all that stuff he wouldn't even have to go to Vegas he'd have had the championship showed up before he went to Vegas but a lot of people overlooked that I didn't I said something to Steve Petty over the guitar about it and he just looked back to me and said you the only one caught on to that didn't you I said, yeah I caught on to it 
I said, NHRA, ain't, right. you know, they've probably seen it, but they don't want to say nothing. Right. So, you know, it ain't, it's not fair. Like I say, Troy would have won this championship last year. Wouldn't even have to go to Vegas if he just hadn't had some terrible, terrible bad luck all in track down and getting points took away. What do you, do you think, I mean, is your express purpose is to prove how fast these turbo cars will go? Yeah, basically. that's all. And, and I don't really want to do it, but, you know, I'll get somebody to help me before it's over with. You know, I'll get the car down the track. I just need some help knowing how to tune it. And, and I'm not a computer guru, so I have to, you know, I get somebody to help me with that. And, and I've got several turbo guys that really would like to come over here and race, but they've seen all the bull crap that's going on right. between the, the rules and stuff. So, you know, they can't get over here because they don't have the points. So I got some people want to help me. We'll make this thing run for it's over with. It's just And once you get it to run, will you, you, you get it to run, the NHRA changes the rules, and you switch back to a nitrous car? I will. I'll have it in the trailer. <laughs> you know, I'll have a nitrous car sitting in the trailer, you know. And, it, it, and you know, it's just... It's not that I'm trying to do anything wrong. All I'm asking is to keep the rules legit. And the people that are sandbagging, make them work. Yeah. You know, they should have to work. They can run faster. If you don't think so, slow them down. Slow them down, watch them pick back up. So that's all you got to do. If you slow them down for a while, they might all pill around here a couple of races, but they won't pill around long. They'll step them things up and run where they got to run. Well, hey, man, I, there's no arguing. So, well, hey, we're here in uh, Gainesville, Florida. Stay tuned. I hear cars going down the track now, so hopefully, Ricky, you'll be. What do you think? The, the conditions here, if it gets cloudy again, I mean, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I've done set back up now for cloudy, you know. And, uh, and it's getting later. We were set up for the sun, and then we come back, changed, and got for the clouds. And then they postponed us and put us behind the fuel, so. What do you think? Rather than we'll working Chad to death, I think I'll just sit in here and wait till they call us. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Well, hey, pay attention, dragillustrator.com, uh, facebook.com slash dragillustrated. Uh, we'll be here all weekend. Thanks, Ricky. Thank you, man.